Good morning, my friends. How are you all doing? Uh, as promised, I want to report for the coronation last week. We were in London and uh, did a lot of things, but um, the coronation was uh, the pinnacle of the experience. I'm smoking my pipe from uh, the Pipe Club London and uh, the near up, the most recent one, and you've seen a video. I'll link it below. And uh, it's a lovely pipe, a lot of briar here, short stem, uh, but um, actually hangs on your mouth very well. So, uh, befitting the occasion, I've dressed up a little bit. Um, this jacket I actually bought in London uh, from Pall Mall. Um, I'll show you a photo. Uh, has a great shop, uh, Favourbrook, and they do really top quality um, uh, tuxedos and smoking jackets. Anyway, what I have in this near up pipe, befitting the occasion again, is uh, Imperial English. <laughs> it's Boswell's. But let's f face it, um, most of our tobacco comes from America. God bless America. And uh, this is actually a very nice English blend. It didn't do that well in tobacco reviews, but. Um, I like it, it's a very classic mix um, and it, it's actually uh, just perfect for me. Mild, slightly sweet and a bit smoky with Latakia and of course um, and really enjoyable. And my lighter today is the gold plated Zippo, um, actually a, a numbered edition and uh, if I'm not right, if I'm not wrong, it's the armoured version, deep cut, yes. And my tamper is of course uh, Giuliano Spilletti, uh, the Big Ben one. <laughs> so let's go on. I'll show a sequence of uh, videos for parades and uh, photos I took. Um, we arrived uh, on the 2nd of May and at my uh, club on Pall Mall, so the Oxford and Cambridge Club. Uh, I'm a member and uh, uh, it's always uh, perfectly central, right next to uh, St. James Palace, St. James Park, St. James Street, with a lot of great shops, and uh, James Fox, of course, the tobacconist, is, is, is there. My wife likes Indian food as as all English like Indian food. <laughs> so uh, we went to Chutney Mary's and that's one of the top uh, Indian food restaurants uh, on St. James Street, about two minutes from my club. And uh, it was excellent. And to a great plus, they have a, a cocktail bar and the cocktails are some of the best in London. If you go to London, just take a cocktail at that restaurant. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. My wife loves the, the blueberry one. Well, you can't go to London without seeing a show um, and Shaftesbury Avenue. Or, there's a lot of other theatres. And this time we went to the Victoria 
Palace um, Theatre, and that's uh, this one. And as you see in the photo, we watched uh, Hamilton, that great uh, musical. And uh, the dancing and the singing was fantastic. The story wasn't my cup of tea, but um, uh, but it was a great show. And uh, that uh, theatre had lovely um, decoration in, inside. Most of the uh, theatres in London are really classic and beautiful and uh, this one was built in 1863 re rebuilt a couple of times uh, 1910 the last one um, as you see it today so that takes us to the 4th of may and we went to battersea power station that i know you think what going to a power station that power station was closed in in the late 80s and for a couple of decades they didn't know what to do with this building and uh, it was bought and sold and bought and sold but they did the right thing they preserved the uh, architecture because it's um, spectacular 1930s and uh, uh, and they built a lot of luxury uh, flats and um, today it's a, a shopping mall effectively um, two or three le levels um, they're still actually renovating part of it and uh, it's full of really good shops and restaurants as well and uh, they preserved a lot of the machinery and the amperes and uh, the, the control room, for example, that's a cafe uh, like this one. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the control room of Battersea Power Station is converted to a, a coffee shop. <laughs> but uh, here is the old controls. Quite incredible. In its time, in the 1930s, it must have been a, a wonder of electric power. Anyway, we had uh, good fun at the Battersea power station. And uh, the next day, uh, we went to Hampton Court and this great palace, uh, famous for Henry VIII, but also uh, George II and George III. So a separate video of Hampton Court because so much to say. So on the evening of the 5th, the club had a fantastic coronation dinner and I, I tried to book it uh, months ago, it was sold out. I was in the waiting list and just before we uh, flew from Basel to London, they said, uh, you're cleared, you've got a place on this dinner. And uh, I was so grateful that because it was, I think six courses and lovely wines included in price and um, you know, everyone dresses up. This is me perusing the uh, the menu with, and the wine list. It was very impressive. And they had lovely uh, de decorations, flowers and uh, Prince Charles under the William IV uh, portrait. You see his feet on this painting, but Prince Charles, the photo and um, everyone was posing and that day they relaxed uh, the right to make photos because it's strictly uh, forbidden in the club to take a, a mobile phone on uh, and take photos it's a very very private atmosphere and i think it's good 
Um, but this day, you were allowed in that uh, coronation dinner to take a few photos. And in that vein, this is the, the cocktail. Uh, and they had this lovely coronation wafer on, on top uh, and gelatin, you know, but uh, it was a lovely cocktail. And uh, uh, all of the restaurants in London had uh, the same little wafer on their cocktails. Chutney Mary's, for example, did the same thing. And um, uh, and a lot of shops actually did decorations in, in the front window with a portrait of um, Charles and, and lots of flags and bunting and stuff like that. Uh, like D.R. Harris, that's a pharmacy in St. James um, Street and they do uh, a lot of uh, uh, cologne and I buy sometimes their, their cologne and it's very good and uh, uh, so this is the decoration they had in the front window and James Fox of course did the same thing so it was it took over central London uh, and a lot of street parties and uh, a lot of concerts, a lot of special menus for the coronation. You know, it was everywhere, everywhere. It was fantastic. So after that lovely dinner, we went uh, for a walk. It was uh, that evening was not rainy. It was warm enough, and so I decided to have a pipe. And uh, here's me in the front of uh, the club preparing for my evening stroll. And we saw a lovely view from the bridge on the lake in St. James Park and the London Eye like this. And that takes us to Coronation Day. Now, everybody arrived early. Some people had camped several days to get a good place on, on the Mall. The Mall is the street that goes directly to uh, Buckingham Palace. And it's very boulevard, very wide and um, all kinds of uh, people all over Britain actually uh, and even from abroad were already there and we went six o'clock in the morning I thought that's early enough and it was always about four people deep on the barricades barricades were everywhere and of course the police were everywhere in London they took uh, from the rest of the country a lot of police to make sure security was very, very tight and it was excellent. When we came out the club at six, six o'clock, we saw all these police coming towards. I thought, I said to my wife, what have you done, you know? <laughs> but they were marching to uh, the Mall and they actually escorted us. So here's uh, my wife Sylvia and me uh, standing there for three hours before anything happened, you know. Um, but we found the atmosphere was very friendly and very jolly and a lot of nice people around us they even had chairs and they said oh take a seat you know have a rest and we'll take it in in rota and uh, that was a great atmosphere everyone was happy and um, you know sometimes a, a policeman would walk on or come uh, 
past us in a bicycle or something and everyone cheered. <laughs> So I put a few clips uh, in videos. Uh, you can see the, the parade and, um, you know, it, there was a lot more than this, uh, but it gives you a flavor of what, was, what we were seeing and the atmosphere. So t take a look if you didn't see the uh, parade and uh, it's the coronation. Uh, chance to catch up.
the last two days a bit of shopping and uh, a little bit of sightseeing as, um, as well but um, uh, what did I bought um, and uh, we went to Buckingham Palace and the uh, opposite the uh, official uh, Buckingham Palace shop that was closed that day um, on the uh, on the eighth, and uh, opposite there's a sort of uh, almost official uh, Buckingham shop uh, for souvenirs, and I got this uh, very nice uh, key ring, which I realised actually it looks like a, a pipe stand in leather, and uh, God save the king. I made a little video here. of course uh, crystal tumblers and they had small ones for like schnapps or uh, port wine and things like that and they had large ones for whiskey and brandy so I got one of the large ones and two of the smaller ones take a look I also got um, a tamper from James Fox. I didn't, uh, I just had a, a smoke in the lounge upstairs. And uh, for 12 pounds, I got this uh, 
very nice James Fox tamper. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, of course, um, I've put a links uh, below for um, the cover of the coronation, um, the crowning and everything like that. So uh, if you missed it and you're interested, uh, have a look at those links. They do more justice than I can do in this video but um, it was a great week and we really enjoyed everything and thank you for watching this video and all my other videos and I really appreciate the friendship and the, the kindness of YTPC and, uh, um, and kindred souls for pipe smoking and all other kind of interests that we have. Take care, my dears, and look after yourselves, and I'll see you in about a week.